Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Live your absolute best life. Please be sure to get an amazing laugh on every single day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to all of my members. I appreciate you showing me so much love. If anybody has, if my members who are in the, um, my VIP members, if you sent me an email and you have not received the answers to all of your questions, I think I got everybody. I received, Al, I received your email. So check your emails to make sure that you, because I sent that um, back last night or either this morning, but I, I sent answered both of your questions, so you should have received those. Check your email. Um, and anybody, anyone else who is a VIP member who gets the two free questions a month, please be sure if I did not answer your question or if I have not, um, if you sent me one question first and then had to think about the second question and sent the second question later. I get hundreds of emails a day, so I try to get through all of them. If I missed your email, just send it again and then um, and put reminder on it and I will pick up on it because I'm I'm going to uh, really go through all these emails so I can clear everything out. And that's on my to do list today because I don't want to miss any of you all's emails at all. I appreciate you and I want to make you first priority. OK, all right. <clears throat> so. So we currently have a, um, well, no, I'm not, I'll get into that throughout the reading because I, something is telling me is where the moon phase and the sun phase is right now. We have a sun in Aquarius. We have a moon in Libra. We have Venus and Jupiter in Pisces. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, um, Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces. Yeah. So I, I get that we really... Uh, okay. So we have to, I'm sorry, I'll get back to that later. I don't want to really get too heavy into that right now. Okay. So, um, we have the two of wands right now, Pisces, you could be feeling like you have the world in your hands. You have a decision that you need to make. Um, you could be thinking about partnering with somebody, um, to help things move in a better direction in your life. You could be feeling very lucky right now. Very, uh, blessed. Like even if you're, I, even, I get, even if you're not in a situation of financial abundance, because, you know, sometimes people put all of their happiness on how much money they have um, when it really should not be that way. Yes, money is a tool and it can help you, um, you know, be less stressful because your bills are paid and you're able to do a little bit more for yourself, things you enjoy. So I understand that, but I get that you're in this energy right now, Pisces. You like the direction that you're moving in. You could be a lot more assertive right now. Um, with this, with this sun in Aquarius, you could be like assertive. You're being methodical in how you're thinking things out. You're thinking things out clearly with this moon in Libra. Um, it's like you're making sure things are balanced in your life, evenly balanced. Um, I don't get that people are used to seeing you in this energy, though. I guess somebody or people are used to you putting them first. And I get that you're in that queen of, I mean, that um, queen of swords energy or something. We have the king of wands. We have the king of pentacles. So you may be trying to make a choice between two people in your life. Um, and you and with this magician card, we have with the we have the two of wands crowning this ma magician card. Pisces, I get both of these are good choices. And it that could be that's what's very hard. It, that's why it's very hard for you to make a choice right now. Um I get that if if this is not pertaining to two male energies, and, and I say male energies, but you know, women embody uh, male energy too. We embody uh, male and female energy. So if it's not that, you could just be choosing between popularity 
and the the focus on uh, drawing people to you. I get you're charismatic and you could be the type that draw people to you. People are drawn to your energy or something. They're drawn to something about you, the tr like how you are being unapologetically yourself. Um, and you could be also trying to make a decision on should you, you're also trying to focus on like having stability with this King of Pentacles, financial stability, being health, healthy financially. Pisces, I get you can have both. If, if this is your energy, you can have both. You can definitely attract healthy, fun people to you. Um, you can also have stability, financial stability. Now, if this is two male energies, if this is relationship related, I get that you are going, it's hard for you to make a choice because you've been manifesting real love in your life. You've been manifesting healthier connections, healthier par partners. And I get that for some of you, Pisces, this is a general reading. This isn't a personal reading. So take what belongs to you and leave the rest. If it doesn't apply to you, that's fine. Um, but I get that you have options. You definitely have options. And it's two amazing options, too. Really good. Um, then we have the Three of Swords, but it's in reverse. So I get that the fact that you're being you, we're, we're, if this is energy, the fact that you're being you, people are attracted to you. It's like they've, they're have they attracted to the fact that your heart is healed. You're not living in the past. You're not thinking about the past, focusing on the past of what happened. You've learned so much from it. You you have forgiven a lot of people, even if you do not deal with them anymore. I get that you have forgiven a lot of people. Then we have this eight of swords, but it's in reverse. So it's like you're seeing the role that you played in something. Um, I even get Pisces that you're worried that somebody's going to try to control you with finances or something, but I don't get that this person is. Um, I get Pisces that whoever this, this if, if this is a new energy, like somebody new who is coming to your life, who has worked very hard to get to where they are in life, um, this person really do just want people around them that are not with them for their money and money only. They can spoil you. They can treat you, you know, in the best way possible. Um but they also, I get that you're used to dealing in the past. You're used to dealing with people who were sort of ruthless. You know, they were sort of like, um, they took little regard, you know, for, for how you, for how you felt or how you, and this is what you're expecting from someone else. But I get that you need to change that energy, Pisces, because this is not who this 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 is not the type of energy. This is not that kind of person. Um, they really do not believe in doing things that way. It's like your past, certain things in your past you've healed from other things in your past still haunt you. You know, it's like, you know, you have these you're you're taking precautions on protecting yourself because you've been burnt you've been hurt so and but so you're assuming that this person may be coming and doing the same thing to you i don't get that this person is in that energy they're stable in their own right they're they're very strong stable um i get that there's a lot of paranoia though when you deal with people like you're really paranoid like oh is this person really for me are they going to you know do something da 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 because i get that you have two choices and you've been sort of at a standstill on what choice to make one of these people could be very popular so they could have a lot of people around them this could be a fire sign they draw people into them this could be an entrepreneur somebody who has their own business they may be a ceo or they could be like the manager of a company or something but they hold some sort of high ranking position 
The other person could be more of a nature lover, but they're also with this with this king of pentacles, they're also financially stable. They're, they they don't face like they're really good with their finances. They manage that very well. But this could be somebody who's more in the background. They're not really, you know, they're, they don't have this extrovert type of energy that this King of Wands has. They have more of a, their presence is strong though. Like they're a silent king or something like that or silent queen. And I get that this other person, this King of Wands is more of like, a talkative type of person, like I said, very charismatic, where they draw people sort of into their energy. I get with this person who is a king, like the, the king of wands, this is somebody that can even help you through the process of healing your heart, like forgiving people, showing people, like move on from that energy. They quickly move on. They don't stay stagnant in an energy for too long because they have a lot of things that they want to accomplish. So they are the, they've mastered, this fire sign has mastered the art of moving on. If this is not a fire sign, it's just somebody who embodies that, that strong nature. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't have time to let the grass grow up under my feet. I'm going to move on to the next thing, you know, and that's what they do. This is somebody, Pisces, who will help show you how to do the same. Kind of like, you know, not dwell on things for so long, move quickly. Um, but this other person, I get the energy with them is more of like they're a silent, powerful person. They don't mind being behind the scenes. They let their they let their work speak for itself. And that is attracting like these people have your attention. You have their attention. This is someone who I get this this king of pentacles. This is someone who has developed um, skills, life lesson skills. They, they know how to teach it. They know, but they don't talk too much. They're like the opposite of this King of Wands. They're not an extrovert. They're more of like an introvert, but they are, um, I get that they are really grounded in their life. Like I said, they may like be a nature lover or they may love animals a lot. Could be, you know, they could like dogs, cats, and horses. Um, they may be into um, and like wildlife or something like that. But this person is very stable in their life. And I get that you're paranoid that this person, they're almost like their money scares you or something. Their power scares you or something like that. I get that they're not in it to do anything like malicious towards you though, Pisces. You've manifested, you've... <laughs> This is the funny thing that I'm saying, though. It's like you, you've manifested love into your life, into your energy, because you felt sort of like you wanted good connections. Now they are presenting themselves. You feel kind of overwhelmed and you're, and you're paranoid. But this is what you manifested. This is what you wanted. You wanted, a, you know, you wanted to have options, good options. And now it's here. It's presenting itself. <laughs> And then we have the emperor card. So the emperor is the type of energy that this is like a fatherly figure. We have a lot. So Pisces, I get, I mean, why I get that you have, you have really, really like manifested a lot of suitors, whether you have. So if this has not already happened, I get you have a lot of top people watching you, not in a negative way though. Like not in that, like, you know, not in that stalker, I'm trying to hurt you type way. It's like they're watching you and admiring you. You know what I'm saying? Like you are, a real, they look at you as somebody who they could definitely consider being with. So I get even with this emperor card, this can be an authoritative figure, somebody who has some more power. There's a lot of power players here. You got two kings and the emperor. You, the, Pisces, you done manifested this. <laughs> Don't run down. Don't get paranoid down. You manifested this. 
So, but you got a lot of, you have, you have a lot of, of power in this reading, a lot of power players vying for your attention, you know, mm -mm. go ahead, Pisces, look at you. These are people, I mean, this emperor, this person sets rules. This could be a judge. This could be a police officer. This could be somebody who is just a high ranking individual in there, in the community somewhere. Um, somebody who has a lot of power. This could also just be like the father of a family. Somebody who sets rules um, and make laws. You know, they're stand up type of person. They're rigid though. They don't bend too much on like it's like what I say go. They don't they don't bend too much on uh, once they set their mind to something. They can even be sort of uncompromising sometimes. But I get that you have some real power players here, Pisces. Mm-hmm. The moon card, yeah, Pisces, like your energy is here. Um, you are, you could be doing something where you're looking to, you're really researching these people. You're researching each one of your options. Looking deep, they're not only watching you. If you know who these people are, you're watching them too, Pisces. You're watching them too, because you didn't manifest it. These, if this has not already happened, you're going to, like, once this energy comes in and you've opened up that heart chakra, here's this another energy coming. This energy then come in, you've opened up that heart chakra a little more, here's this energy coming. So you're going to have to make a decision, but this is what you've manifested with this magician card. This is, you don't realize how powerful you are, Pisces, how strong your mind is, how strong your energy is or something. And I get that you're finding out the truth about each one of these people so you can make a sound decision on which way you want to go. But I get that you're sort of even sort of paranoid, like, you know, you're, you've manifested this. Don't run, Pisces. Don't run now. This is what you wanted. <laughs> this is what you wanted. Okay, then we have the ten of uh, of wands. Yeah, so with this with this energy of this King of Pentacles, this is a hard worker. This person, they they, I mean, they carry a lot. I get that they even like this could be somebody who pays their family bills. They pay like extended family. They pay their extended family bills, or I get like people are de really dependent on this King of Pentacles. So that Pisces, that may be sort of a challenge for you that so many people like are dependent on this person or either this person, they could run their own very successful business or they're, they're like, um, as some, like some sort of top person in their company, like in a manager's position or some way, in some way, general manager, director, something like that, where they get paid a pretty salary. But I get that they carry, they help a lot of people around them. It's not like they don't, they don't only pay their bills, but they pay other people bills too. So a lot of people are dependent on them. So Pisces, this may be some sort of issue for you. This could be a deciding factor that sort of points your direction more in someone else's way. Because you may say, you know, well, I don't mind that you help some people, but too many people are dependent on you, or you spend way too much time at work. Something about them you like though. Something it's like you like how strong and stable and silent they are silent they are. Like they just let their work for, speak for itself. But you don't like how many people they're de that's dependent on them or either you don't like how much time they put into work or something like this is a person who could be a workaholic you know what i'm saying like they do whatever it takes to make sure they live a very luxurious lifestyle a very comfortable lifestyle so it's like the money is there but this person may not be able to spend the time with you that you want you may be able to go on shopping trips, but then they got to hurry up and get back to work. 
you know? So that could be a deciding factor. Um, this King of Wands is somebody who is very charismatic. So they get a lot of attention and know a lot of people. You know, so it's like you're looking at every aspect of everything. You're finding out the truth. This emperor, they're a little too rigid. So you're you're weighing the pros and the cons with each powerful person who's an option to you. You're weighing the pros and the cons to see which one. It's like you're thinking things through really well because you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your time with somebody who may not be, you know, where you're sort of always like having, like you choose a person then you sort of regret it and say, oh, I should have chose this other person because I think they would have been a better fit for me. It's like, like that Libra energy. You want somebody who's going to balance you out right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you don't have regrets for choosing them. Mm, Pisces, don't run now. This is what you asked for. This is what you manifested. Yeah, they watching you too, Pisces. If they haven't approached you yet, they are definitely watching you. But it's not, I don't get negative energy from this. I don't get that they're watching you in a negative way. The first card out we have is recovery. So recovery could speak of that healing of something, you know, um, overcoming something, even recovering your sense of pride, your sense of your sense of humor, something you lost about yourself. This King of Wands, like I said, they could be the type of person who opened that up for you. Like they they make you laugh a lot. Their their passionate energy, it you know, it, it sort of it 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 enlightens you. It you know, it's mysterious because you just wonder how can they be so freaking, you know, just like that. I don't care. I'm going to just, I'm going to jump out there. I'm going to do it. And I'm not sitting and focusing on, on this for too long because I'm on to the next thing. You admire that about this person. You really admire that about this person. Pisces, I get that they even, um, if this person has not approached you yet, it's because they're waiting to see who, do you have other options? Like they're, this is a, <laughs> this is a very, this King of Wands is competitive. They're competitive. They're a very competitive person. They're trying to see who else is in your energy. If, if they have, if they have not approached you yet, it's because they're sort of sitting back watching who are you giving your time and your energy to. So they could, this is a, <laughs> this person is, they, when they come in to win, they come to win. Seriously. So they're looking to see what other options you have, who their opponent is, so they can figure out how to win, how to win you. Mm. This is a competitive. A really competitive type energy. <laughs> I'm getting from that King of Wands. And they make you, I get that they make you laugh. They make you laugh because, or they they have a really good sense of humor. This, this fire sign or somebody who embodies that fire energy. They have a really good sense of humor. Compromise. So... I get that, you know, with this king, like, remember I just said with this king of pentacles, this person, I get that they help a lot of other people, like, because they have the finances to do it. They're, they're stable, like financially, they are, fa they're financially secure in life. So it's not like they're doing it to be a people pleaser. They're doing it because they can afford to do it. So I get that you're trying to think, is this something that you want to like, do you want to compromise being with this person? Um, you know, do, do you, can you handle them being a workaholic? Can you handle them? So many people depending on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, can, can you handle this? You know, is this something that you're willing to step into? I get that you're, you've manifested these people, but you're, you're finding out the truth about each one of them. You have, but this is what you wanted, Pisces, so. <laughs> so 
of the Pisces I know are simply hilarious. I'm trying to tell you, like, mm, mm, mm. it's so funny. Just the personalities and things like that. And I that's why I laugh when people who, you know, they just group all Pisces together because the Pis some of the Pisces I know are like night and day. I swear, I'm like, you know, if they are like night and day. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yep. So that is like that fire energy. Yes. So this person, this King of Wands, as well as this Emperor, they're very courageous. And they're teaching you how to be that way, how to be bold, put your best foot forward. Don't dwell on heartbreak for too long. Go ahead and move on. Stick to your own rules. The rules you've set for your life, stick to them. Don't alter from that, you know, just to accommodate other people. Yeah. They're teaching you how to be more courageous and stand up for yourself, Pisces. Or these are people who they, that's just how they are. They embody that kind of energy. These are no nonsense. Even though this King of Wands is no, is like very charismatic and funny and, you know, but you do not want to get on their wrong side because they will burn. They will cook you. They will burn you. Yes. So you don't want to get on this person's wrong side. So don't let the smile fool you. Period. This emperor they are not the type of person that once they say something, they say what they mean and they mean what they say. And I get these are really strong energies. This king of pentacles, they know how to make major power moves. Major power moves. They're like a silent, they can be a silent storm too. This person can be very gracious, loving, giving, kind, really down to earth, um, everything. But this is not somebody who you, they, this is a real serious power player too. So I get that you got some really strong energies um, that you're attracting, that you've manifested. So you're, I get that you're just trying to see what's best for you. This also, like I said, if this hasn't happened already, because in a lot of the readings I've been getting, like even since like the later part of last year, um, I've been getting that energy where you're focused more on your finances right now. So love is coming after that. After you get your finances in order, then love is really stepping in. And I get that you're in that energy where you're not, you may not even, you're manifesting, you're trying to manifest people in your life, like really good energy type people, people that will balance you out, people that, you know, fit into, fit with your personality or something. But it's taking time because you're, you're focused focus more on your finances, even though, you know, you're speaking those affirmations like you deserve love. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to have the, a good kind of love that matches your energy or balance out your energy or something. But I get that your main focus right now is on your finances, like making sure everything is, is in place in the right way. Adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, so it's like with this with this energy with this king of pentacles, like I said with so many people depending on them. I get that you're trying to decide, like I said, if you want to compromise. You know, you want to compromise, do you want to be understanding about this person having all of these people who are constantly depending on your person? You may be up to it, to that challenge. This this King of Pentacles may be a challenge for you because you may be, you know, used to dealing with people who's, who who gets a lot of attention. They have a lot of people, you know, that like them. They're funny, things like that. You may be used to de dealing with somebody like this Emperor who's rigid, who's fair, who's also, you know, they they're uncompromising. They're sort of like went with, you know, they set rules and they go by them. They ha they have that like the ruler of their domain or something. You're used to, I get that you're used to, you have come across those energies before, but I get that this King of Pentacles, 
maybe sort of like a challenge for you. Like you're like, is that something? Because I get at first you were turning your back on that. Like, oh no, I uh -uh, I don't want to be in that energy of somebody who has that many people depending on them. They, you know, uh uh. But I get that you're sort of, you could even be sort of like rethinking that. Rethinking if you want to be that kind of person who um, is, you know, like somebody who everybody has to call on. So they can't, like I said, they may be able to take you on shopping trips or they may be able to take you on beautiful vacations and things like that, but they got to hurry up. But I get that this is a workaholic. So I guess this is somebody who you have to think about, like, do you want to accept that challenge? You know, you don't want, it's like, you don't want to feel like you're, you're counting them out just because you are not always the first priority. That's what I get. Like, you don't want to feel like you're just counting this relationship out. You don't want to be selfish. You feel like you're being selfish if you tell them, well, no, I don't want to date you or I don't want to, you know, pay this person any attention because they're always, somebody is always depending on them. It's like you enjoy being put first in this person's life. But this person, like I said, they spend a lot of time at work building financial, like generational wealth. That good life that they can give you come with, it comes with the calls, you know, of sometimes this, this person will be on business trips when you want them to be home with you. Sometimes this person will be, um, have to work late when you want them to, you know, sit down and have a dinner with you, you know? Um, it's like, are you willing, are you the type of person that can handle that? Some Pisces can, some Pisces can. I, I literally, I'm looking at this reading right now and it just hit me that I know a Pisces like this. She lives an amazing life with her husband, but he's a workaholic. He's a Capricorn. He's a workaholic. He makes sure that she has, you know, everything that she wants, everything that she needs, but he's always at work. He's always at work. And, you know, she, but she has, they've learned to make it work. They've been married now for about 14 years. They, they found a way to make it work. And, but then I know some Pisces that will not, they're like, uh-uh, no way. Like I can't have somebody who's never really home. So it just depends on you, what you want. But I get Pisces, you're looking at your options or you're going to be looking at these options and how they, how they balance out your energy, how you all balance each other out or something. Then we have freedom and we have dreams. Yeah. So this could be Pisces. You may have dreamed of this person and did not recognize them in, in your dream. Because if this is somebody who's coming to you in your future, you may have dreamed of them and didn't recognize them in your dreams. They gave you a really good energy, though, like a like you felt protected or sort of secure with them. You didn't feel nervous or something. Um you felt balanced, your energy felt balanced with this person in your dream, but you could have woke up and sort of felt that like that, like you were protected and, but couldn't quite remember the dream or didn't recognize the face. This could be somebody who, this could easily be this King of Pentacles that's coming, you know, in later on in your life. Like I said, once you get your situated, situate, I mean, once you get yourself situated financially, Things balance out in your life and, and stabilize in your life. With this freedom card, I get that this you're recovering. Like I said, it's like you're recovering your energy. Something, a part of you that you lost, maybe that courageous part of you that you lost. These, these King of Wands and this Emperor card, they embody this courage. Energy, they don't focus on heartbreak for too long. They, like I said, this King of Wands don't let grass grow up under their feet. Um, this it's like you're recovering these these type. You're looking at this energy because they kind of help you embody that same energy. 
you know, and it's freeing you mentally and emotionally. They make you feel free. Like you could just be who the heck you want to be, you know, um, and be unapologetic about it. Like, you know, so it's like you're looking at your options. You have some damn good options with the two of, of wands. Like you got the world in your hand. You've manifested this Pisces. You've manifested these type of people in your life. These beautiful, strong energy option type individuals. You know, so it's like you're, but I get with this moon card, you've manifested this, but you're also looking at the things you like about these people and the things you don't like. And you're weighing the pros and the cons with this connection, with these type of individuals to see what is best for you. Okay, then we have, it's time to take action, new moon and Aries. So this could be an Aries who with this King of Wands, this could be that Aries energy or this Emperor card could definitely be that Aries energy. Then we have emotions are running high, super moon. I get that this is you, Pisces. Your emotions are running high because you're trying to decide on what decision you want to make. Um, I get that this is you. And then we have the answers you need are coming full moon and Gemini. So it's like with this, with this king of pentacles, you're looking at things from both sides. Like I said, you're trying to decide on whether you want to accept this challenge or not. Because it's, it's to you, this is something new that you, you're like, okay, this is a workaholic. I, the, the, I comp, I mean, I live a good, I'll be able to live the life that I dream of as far as like having that stability, not having to worry about finances, you know, going on dream trips, living a really good life. But this person won't always be home when I want them to be, you know? So it's like you're looking at, like, the, like I said, the answers you need are coming. You're going to make a decision on this. Because you're looking at it from both sides. You're looking at it from the, you're looking, like I said, you're weighing your pros and your cons with this situation. Okay, and then I'm going to pull one last card, Pisces, and Cross Watchers. So Cross Watchers, this could be a Pisces who you're dealing with. Um, if, if you're a, if you're a fire sign, an earth sign, um, or it, or a, a air sign, or something like that. Um, this could be a a um, a Pisces who you're dealing with. You know, where you're trying to decide on what is best. If, you know, you want things to sort of balance out. Or is this Pisces going to give you the time of day because they're so focused on their work, bringing, um, having stability in their life or something? Okay, and the last card out says Tree Wisdom. The tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through these sounds it make. Um, there's a movie called <laughs> The Sound of Music. I don't know how, you know, it's a, it's a very, we, I used to watch it, you know, this, I think this came out, that movie came out either be, like before I was born or something. Um, I have to check it again, but um it was the movie was about this maid who this this really wealthy guy had. I think he had like seven or between seven to ten children and his wife had passed on. He was dating a new woman. He, he his kids had learned how to run all diff, every time he would date a new woman. His kids would always run them out of his life. This maid was totally different though. She wasn't in it for his father. He was saying like, I need somebody who can handle my children. And she was like, oh, I can handle them. She opened their mind up to so many different things. So it got to the point they fell in love with the maid and wanted the maid to be with their dad and wanted the maid to sort of like, they were trying to get rid of the woman he was currently dating. Because they fell in love with the maid. Like they had run all the previous maids off. They ran all the previous women off. 
um, I think he had only one son and like maybe five or six daughters or something. Um, but this made somehow she, she grew that she, she developed a very trustful relationship with the children and she opened them up to music. The house was bland. They didn't have music. They were out of control. This, that, she opened them up to that through music. Um, it's a beautiful movie. I love it. Like I, I'm going to look it up and see if it's on Netflix or um, Amazon Prime because I enjoyed that movie as a kid. I, I and I'm glad that it sort of it, I just it just popped in my mind while I was um, doing this reading. But I get that Pisces, you could be that type where you love music. You get messages through music or something, this could be a part of the clarity that you're getting on who you decide. I know that probably sounds kind of strange, but this mute, something, something that you hear um, through music could come, like messages could come in or something that can short, sort of kind of help you make a decision on who you want to be with. It's going to bring you some sort of clarity. Maybe you listen to motivational music or something like that, um, um, you know, in your sleep. You know, they have motivational music that you can play that change like the vi different vibrations. You may be listening to this in your sleep and it may bring you some sort of clarity on who's the best choice for you, who would balance out your energy. Okay, so that's the end of the reading, Pisces. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button and show my channel some love. Sending you love right back. I will talk with you soon.